Welcome to section one of our Instagram Marketing 3.0 video training, Instagram Marketing Basics. In this section, we'll talk about what is Instagram all about? What can Instagram do for your business? Shocking Instagram marketing facts to consider. And Instagram walkthrough. What is Instagram all about? What is Instagram? We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Instagram is a photo sharing social network. In practical terms, it is a visual discovery platform focused on user-generated content and with predominantly social media-oriented features. Contrary to other social networks, though, Instagram has been designed from the ground up for mobile devices. Its humble beginnings can be traced back to 2010, when it was launched as a free photo-sharing app for iOS devices, followed by Android versions as well as a feature-limited desktop interface two years later. Much like any other social network, Instagram allows its users to create a profile from where they can upload and share visual media, such as photos and short-form videos, to other users' feeds. As you can see, the idea behind Instagram is simple, yet elegant. So much so, that Facebook acquired it in 2012 for $1 billion. What can you find on Instagram? Instagram is mostly famous because it allows its users to share awesome visual content. And because of that, you will be able to find basically any type of content on the platform, which presents great potential for content discovery. The first thing that you will find on Instagram are your friends. Then you will discover that you will be able to find all your favorite things on Instagram. Your favorite brands, your favorite musicians, your favorite actors, your favorite fictional characters, even your favorite food. That is why Instagram is so popular among active social media users. And that is also the reason why it is so easily monetizable. Because it is created towards fostering massive engagement. Brands of all sizes and industries have been able to use Instagram's model to their advantage. And a new breed of marketers called influencers have been able to make six-figure livings thanks to Instagram. What can you do on Instagram? Instagram allows you to easily upload and share photos and videos, to follow other users, to geotag images with the name of the location where a photo is taken, to connect your Instagram with other social networking accounts, and to use hashtags to make your content easier to find. Besides those basic features, Instagram also allows you to use an explore feature that will enable you to find visual content according to popularity, location, and your own search criteria. You can apply filters on your posted images to make them more stylized. And you will also be able to upload 15 second long videos. You will also be able to directly connect with other users via private messaging. More advanced features such as stories and monetization will be discussed in the following sections. So let's continue by telling you what are some of the awesome benefits that Instagram offers your business. What Instagram can do for your business. So now you know what Instagram is all about. And right after, you learned some stuff you probably didn't know about the platform. Now it's time to start talking business. That is, the benefits of using Instagram for doing and promoting your business. For most marketers, doing business on Instagram is kind of a confusing endeavor. You see, doing business on Facebook, for example, is a no-brainer. So everybody knows that platform works. But an app such as Instagram with very specific functions and a dedicated set of features can be a bit more difficult to tap into at first. But the truth is, the businesses of all sizes, from local brands to family-owned shops to large corporations, are driving results from being active on Instagram. And their secret is in knowing how to implement their business practices into the way the platform works. But their performance is also backed up by the numbers. 80% of Instagram users follow a business on the platform. Now that said, it wouldn't be profitable for those businesses to be on the platform if it weren't for their loyal followers. And an engaging business on Instagram can easily drive and spread awareness of their business activities, their brands, their products, and their services. Make potential customers get interested through visual discovery. Get new customers, which in turn will increase the desired conversions, including product sales, app downloads, website visits, and visitors to a local store, among others. Instagram's own built-in features will allow you to reach those milestones the easy way, 
as long as you put in the effort. Because Instagram has also been designed with business in mind, allowing them to create an Instagram business account, which allows companies of all sizes to be recognized with a unique business profile, to gain insight about their followers, to promote posts designed to drive business goals, and giving visitors to your profile the right info, such as your business address and contact details, all within Instagram. Send full screen adverts to Instagram Stories, which is a friendlier approach to advertising compared to what other social platforms offer. Use business tools to get deep marketing insights, including reach, number of impressions, replies, and exits for each individual campaign. More so, the visual nature of Instagram combined with a story-driven advertising model means that you will be offering an experience that far surpasses the flat and personal feeling of marketing campaigns created on other platforms. Instagram has many other benefits for businesses that are too often overlooked by marketers that focus their conversation on advertising. And in this training, you will become aware that Instagram is as diverse as diverse can get. For starters, you can repurpose your Instagram photos on your business website to create cross-platform engagement. And if your business has a physical location, you can bet that customers have uploaded pictures of it on the platform. Even if you don't have a physical location and only offer your products online, customers have probably uploaded pictures of them as well. There's a lot more to say about Instagram, so follow us to the next video for some shocking Instagram marketing facts that you should know. Shocking Instagram Marketing Facts to Consider As popular as Instagram is as a platform, both for personal use and for doing business, there is a lot of stuff that is under most marketers' radar. Here are some of the most inspiring Instagram marketing facts that you should consider when creating your own profit-generating campaigns. Over 700 million people use Instagram on a monthly basis, with 400 million of those active on a daily basis making it one of the largest online audiences that any business can aspire to reach. Instagram posts earn 58 times more engagement per follower than Facebook posts on average, and 120 times more engagement per follower than Twitter posts, making it a must in your social networks to be in list. Instagram users share an average of 95 million photos and videos on a daily basis, with even more expected growth in the coming years. 60% of Instagram users have said that they have learned about a new product or service thanks to post on the platform. 80% of Instagram users are from outside the United States, which represents a big opportunity for businesses to reach a global audience. 31% of American women use Instagram, outnumbering the 24% of American men using the platform, which is great news especially if your business targets the younger female demographic. Currently, a whopping 48% of U.S.-based brands use Instagram for marketing purposes, and that percentage is expected to grow to 70% by the end of 2017. 75% of Instagram users take action after seeing a promoted post. Such actions are driven by calls to action on these promoted posts, such as website visits, which means that, on average, your business has a higher chance of converting followers into customers by being on Instagram. In this sense, B2C businesses or business-to-customer businesses are the ones that benefit the most from being on Instagram. This is mostly due to the fact that buying a pair of sunglasses is an easier decision to make for a potential customer after seeing a beautiful picture of them on Instagram. Brands with Instagram accounts surpassing the 100,000 followers mark have grown a whopping 163% in just two years. So make sure to take advantage of what you will learn in this training to make those numbers grow for you as well. The secret behind why marketing on Instagram is such a successful strategy can be explained with science. As Instagram has devised a platform that allows its users to process content 60,000 times faster through image posts than, say, simple text ads, with people remembering 80% of your marketing message in your Instagram promoted posts. There is a very specific set of hashtags that have been determined to be the best for marketing campaigns on Instagram, including hashtag contest alert, hashtag sweepstakes, hashtag giveaway, hashtag discount, hashtag travel, hashtag deal, and hashtag... Instagram walkthrough. Hey there, dear friends. 
So far, it's been an educational roller coaster, as we are sure that there was a lot of stuff that you didn't know about Instagram up until this point. And now that you know what Instagram is all about, it is about time that you learn how to use it from the inside out. And there's nothing better than an introductory walkthrough to get you started. Okay, so let's start right on the app's main login screen, where you'll be asked to either enter your phone number, your email address, or your username, as well as your password to log into your Instagram account. In our case, we are going to log in with our username, so we enter it in the corresponding field. Then enter our password and tap on the login button. Awesome! Now you're going to be taken to your Instagram feed. In your feed, you will be able to see what others are posting in chronological order by scrolling down. And stories are featured on top, as you can see here. You can identify which account posted a post by looking at the profile icon on the upper left above the post image. And by tapping on the three-dotted button on the right, you will be able to report a post, to use copy link to save a post link and share it, to turn on post notifications, and to share it on WhatsApp. Below the post image, you will be able to see how many likes a post has. And below the number of likes, you will be able to see the post text and the comments left by users on the post. Let's now take a look at how you can interact with posts in your feed. On the lower left, there are three icons. The heart-shaped icon will allow you to like a post. The dialogue icon will allow you to leave a comment on the post. And the paper plane icon will allow you to send a post to your Instagram contacts by selecting them and then tapping on send. The bookmark icon on the lower right will allow you to add posts to your collection. Note that you can revert any of these actions by retapping over any of those icons. Okay, let's now check the features outside your feed, starting with the options available on top. Tapping on the notification number on the right will allow you to check your direct messages. Please note that once you are ready to exit a section, you will simply have to tap on the arrow button located on either side of the screen. In this section, we are going to tap on the arrow on the left to exit and move to the next section. Right. Now by tapping on the camera icon on the left, you will be able to either take a picture or film a short video that you can directly share on Instagram. We are going to teach you how to use these features in detail in the following section. So let's tap on the arrow icon to go back to the feed for the time being. Okay, let's now check the icons located on the menu at the bottom of the screen. Let's start by tapping on the profile icon, which will take you to your user dashboard. The first things that you will be able to see are your number of posts, your number of followers, and the number of accounts that you are following, as well as your uploads as a gallery below. By tapping on the list icon, you will be able to see your uploads as large images or videos in list form. By tapping on the profile type icon beside the list icon, you will be able to check posts where you've been tagged in, and tapping on the bookmark icon will show you your saved posts and collections. Tapping on the three-dotted button on the upper right corner will take you to your account options, from where you will be able to manage how you invite friends and how you follow people. Here you will also be able to edit your account and your settings. In this section, you will also be able to get support, to get detailed information about Instagram, to clear search history, to add account, and to log out. We'll take a deeper look at these options in a later video, so let's just go back. Tapping on the plus profile icon will allow you to discover more people on Instagram. In this section, you will be able to find suggested contacts. You will be able to connect to Facebook and to connect with people that you might already know who are also on Instagram. Okay, let's now go back and tap on the icon on the left from where you will be taken to the archive section where you will find a collection of your archive posts. Let's now tap on the edit your profile button. Tapping on this button will take you to the edit profile section from where you'll be able to edit your profile info, including your name, your username, your website, and your bio. From this same section, you will be able to try Instagram business tools. Let's not forget that you will also be able to change your profile photo by tapping on change photo. Okay, now that we have looked at everything inside the account dashboard, let's tap on the heart-shaped icon. Here you will find two tabs. In the following tab, you will be able to see how the profiles that you are following are interacting with others. On the U tab, you will be able to see how you are interacting with other profiles. The plus icon in the middle is perhaps the one that you'll be using the most, as that is the button that will allow you to quickly upload stuff to Instagram. When you tap on it, you will be taken to the gallery section by default, from where you'll be able to upload images and videos from your device to Instagram. Tapping on the photo tab will allow you to take a snapshot, 
and tapping on the video tab will allow you to film, save, and upload a quick video. Tapping on the search icon will take you to the search section. In this section, you will be able to search for trending posts as recommended by Instagram and to use the search bar on top to look for posts using your own keywords and criteria. Lastly, tapping on the home icon will simply take you back to your updated feed. And that is it. To an end of the following section, so we can show you how to use your Instagram account as a powerful marketing tool. Hey there, my friends. Welcome to section two of our Instagram Marketing 3.0 video training, Marketing on Instagram Step by Step. In this section, we're going to teach you step by step how to use Instagram as a powerful marketing tool. In this section, you will learn how to set up your Instagram for Business profile, how to manage your Instagram business settings, how to post and share your marketing content the right way, what are Instagram stories and how to create your own, what is Instagram advertising and what types of ads can you create on Instagram. So, allow us to take you by the hand and show you how to set up your Instagram for Business profile. We hope that you enjoy and make the most out of what you're about to learn, so let's get started set up Instagram for business. Okay, so to properly market and promote your business as well as your offers on Instagram, you will need to operate as a business profile by switching from a personal Instagram account to a business Instagram account. Doing so is quite easy. And you will simply need to start by logging into your personal Instagram account from your smart device of choice by either entering your registered phone number, your registration email, or your Instagram username entering your password, and then tapping on Login. In our case, we are going to log in using our username. Then we will simply enter our password and we'll tap on Login. Okay, once you are inside your account, look for the profile icon on the lower right corner on your device's screen and tap on it. Now, here comes the first step. Look for the three dotted button located on the top right corner on your screen and tap on it. You will be taken to the Options section from where you will be able to configure your Instagram account settings. So let's move on to the next step by going to the account menu. There, simply look for the switch to business account tab. Tapping on this tab is what will allow you to use Instagram as a business entity so you can access and use Instagram's business tools. Before tapping on this tab though, look at the private account option below the switch to business account tab and tap on the switch button on the right in case that it is set as on to make your account public, and then tap on OK when prompted, as you won't be able to switch to a business account while your personal account is set as a private account. Cool. Now that your Instagram account is public, simply tap on the Switch to Business Account tab to get started and tap on Continue in the next screen. As you can see here, having an Instagram business account will allow you to add a phone number, an email, or a location so customers can reach you directly using a button on your profile. It will allow you to see insights about your followers and to learn how your posts are performing. And it will also allow you to create promotions that will help you to grow your business. All right, so let's tap on the last continue button to see what's next. The next step will require you to connect your business profile with your Facebook business page. Start by tapping on the choose page tab. First, you will be asked to continue to Facebook using your account of choice. In our case, we are going to continue using our default Facebook account, the one that we are signed into on our device. So make sure to be signed into Facebook on your device beforehand. Then simply tap on Continue. Next, you will be asked to allow Instagram to post to Facebook for you. And you'll simply have to tap on the drop-down menu to select Public and then on OK to continue. In the next screen, you will be asked to allow Instagram to manage your pages. Simply tap on OK here as well to continue. Now in the next screen, Simply select your Facebook page. In our case, we are going to select the Facebook page corresponding to our business. In case that you don't have a business page on Facebook, you can always use the Create One link located at the bottom of the screen. Once you have made your selection, simply tap on the arrow button on the top right corner. Now you will be instructed to set up your business profile. You will be asked for your business email, your phone number, and your business address. If some of this information is saved on your Facebook page, Instagram will pull it from there. Note that you will need to enter at least one piece of information to continue from this step, and in our case, we're going to enter our email address. You can always edit this anytime later on, 
and we will leave it as it is, so we can edit it in our following video. So simply tap on the OK button on top to continue. Congratulations! Now you have switched to an Instagram business account. There will be new features available so you can better promote and track your business. And in the next video, we are going to walk you through your new business. Your Instagram Business Settings Hey there everyone and welcome to the second video of Section 2 of our Instagram Marketing 3.0 video training. In this video, we are going to show you how to optimize your Instagram for Business account by customizing your Instagram business settings. There are two main business settings that you will be able to edit and customize in order to complete your Instagram business account. The first set of business settings that you can edit can be found by tapping on the profile icon located on the bottom right corner of the screen and then tapping on the Edit Profile tab. Now the first few settings are the same that you were able to edit on your personal Instagram account, including your name, your username, your website, and your bio. Your name and your username are fine as they are, as long as they're correct and reflect your own business name. In the Website field, you have to enter your main business website URL. In our case, we are going to enter our DiabetesCareMadeEasy.com. In the Bio field, you have to enter a brief description of your business, just like we are describing ours as you can see here. The next set of settings are your business contact settings. Your Facebook page as well as a category are already set and cannot be edited from this section, so simply tap on Contact Options. In this section, you will be able to edit your business contact settings. More specifically, these are the contact settings that you can show to your followers and account visitors. First is your business contact email. We recommend you to set up a dedicated email address with your website domain as your contact email. In our case, we are going to insert our support at diabetescaremadeeasy.com as our business contact email. Then you have to enter your business phone number. Start by selecting your country's phone code, enter your number, and then select whether you can be contacted by a call or by text. Then you'll enter your business address, which is as easy as entering your street address, selecting your city or town, and then entering your zip code. Check that all of your contact information is correct and then tap on the confirmation icon to save and go back. Lastly, let's take a look at the private information below. This is your private account information, including your email address, your contact phone number, and your gender. You will need to confirm your contact number by entering the confirmation code that Instagram will send to your phone. This information can only be accessed by you. Make sure that everything in this section is correct, such as making sure that your name is no longer than 30 characters. Then tap on the confirmation icon in the top right corner to save and go back so you can check the next business settings. Let's now go over the three dotted button on the top right corner of your profile to go to your account settings. In this section, you have to look for the business settings menu where you will be able to see three options. The first one is the payments option. In this section, you will be able to set up a payment method which you will later use to pay for your advertisements. Your default payment method will be the one that you are currently using on your Facebook ad account. But you will be able to also set up two additional payment methods by tapping on the Add a Payment Method link. The two payment methods available are credit or debit card and PayPal. Before setting up a payment method, tap on the Billing Country tab to select the Billing Country address corresponding to your payment method of choice. To add a credit or debit card as your payment method of choice, simply tap on the credit or debit card link and enter the credit or debit card information that you will be asked, including your card number, your card's expiration date, your card's security code, and your card's billing zip code. Once you have entered the corresponding information, tap on the confirmation button on the top right corner to save it. If you want instead to add PayPal as your payment method of choice, simply tap on the PayPal link from the Select Payment Method screen. Log into your PayPal account when prompted and complete the on-screen steps that follow after. Let's now move over to the Branded Content Approvals tab on the Business Settings menu. You can turn the Require Approvals lever on or off depending on whether you want other business accounts to tag you on their posts. We recommend you to leave this setting off so other businesses can tag you, which will help you to increase your reach. The last option available on the Business Settings menu is a switch back to Personal Account which you can use in case that you decide to revert back to your old personal account settings 
but keep in mind that you won't be able to promote your content as efficiently if you go back to your personal account. And these are your business settings. Remember that you can always edit them by visiting their corresponding sections through your profile and through your account settings. Follow us in the next video so we can show you how to post and share with your new business. Posting and Sharing Hello there friends. Let's take a look at how you can use Instagram to post and share your awesome marketing content. Posting and sharing stuff on Instagram is fairly easy and there are several ways to do it. And in this video, we are going to walk you through them all. You have to start on your Instagram feed from where you will be able to access all your account's posting and sharing options. Let's start with the easiest way to post and share from your account by tapping on the plus icon located in the middle of the lower screen. From here, you will be able to post from three sources. By default, you will be able to post from your gallery, which is the media gallery on your device. By tapping on the photo tab, you will be able to snap a photo that you can post and share. And by tapping on the video tab, you will be able to shoot a short form video that you can post and share to your Instagram following and to other channels. Let's now show you how you can create a post and share it with each option. Let's start with the gallery option. In this option, you will be able to select an image or video from your device's media gallery. Images and videos taken from your gallery need to comply with the following requirements. First, images have to ideally be 1080 by 1080 in resolution. Otherwise, you won't be able to promote the post that you upload the photo to. Videos have to be 15 seconds long at most. Otherwise, they will simply not load. Okay, in our case, we're going to select this high resolution image for our post. As you can see here, there are some options that can give an extra oomph to your posts. One is the Boomerang Companion app that will allow you to share many videos. And the other is the Layout app, which will allow you to fit multiple photos into one post. In order to use them, you'll simply need to download and install them from the app marketplace corresponding to your device. All right. So once you have selected your image or video, simply tap on the next button on the top right corner. In the following section, you will be asked to select a filter for your image. It will be normal by default, but there are many, many filters to select from. Once you have made your selection, you can tap on the edit link below to add some extra attributes on your image. These attributes include orientation, brightness, contrast, structure, color warmth, saturation, color, fading, and highlights. Once you've edited your image's attributes, tap on the next button above to continue. Now in the next screen, you'll have to edit the content of your post. Start in the write a caption field by entering your post text with its corresponding hashtags. You can geotag your post by adding a location by tapping on add a location. You can also tag other users and accounts by tapping on tag people. One awesome feature is that you'll be able to share your new post to other social channels. Depending on the type of post that you've created, by turning on or off the level corresponding to each available social channel under Share 2. Once you're ready to share your post, simply tap on the Share button located on the top right corner. Awesome! Our new post is now live. Okay, so let's now create a new post by going to the plus icon on the lower menu to show you how to create a photo post. Start by tapping on the Photo tab. There, you will simply have to tap on the small circle button in the middle to snap a photo for your post. You can use the icon on the right to use snap your photo with flash and the button on the left to shift between the rear and front cameras. Tap on the circle button to take your pick. And in the next screen, you will be asked to select a filter. Once you select a nice filter, tap on the edit link below to edit your image's attributes. Once you've edited your image's attributes, tap on the next button above to continue. Now edit the content of your post. Start in the write a caption field by entering your post text with its corresponding hashtags. Geotag your post by tapping on add a location and tag other users or accounts by tapping on tag people. Share to other channels if you wish to and then tap on share. Great! Now it is time to check the video posting option by tapping on the plus icon on the lower screen and then on the video tab. To share a video from here, Simply tap and hold the circle button in the middle until you are OK with the length or until it reaches the recording limit. Once it is recorded, simply tap on Next. Select the filter and then tap on the cover tap to select a thumbnail image from the video and tap on Next. Now proceed as instructed beforehand by entering your caption and location. 
Video posts can be shared on several social channels, including Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Once you set up everything here, tap on Share. As you can see, your new video post is live and ready for the world to see. Okay, so are there other ways to create awesome Instagram posts? Or is this all there is to Instagram posting and sharing? Well, we're glad you asked, because Instagram has another feature up its sleeve called Stories, which are nothing short of posts that can be customized to an amazing level. So follow us in our next video so we can show you what these stories are and how to create Instagram Stories Awesome! Let's continue with our video training. This video was a logical continuation of the previous lesson, where we showed you how to post and share on Instagram with your brand new business account. Because this time around, we are going to show you how to create a more customizable type of Instagram post. Yes, we are talking about none other than Instagram Stories. Instagram Stories is a fascinating feature that allows you to share several moments through a single media reel. In other words, it is a feature that allows you to add several separate photos and videos that can be played in a specific succession. These stories are then added to people's feeds, in the stories bar on top of any feed, as you can clearly see here. Okay, so how do you create an Instagram story? Well, we're glad to tell you that doing so is quite easy, and here's our walkthrough. Start by tapping on the You Profile icon in your Feeds Stories menu. You will be taken to your Instagram editor. There are several options available in here, but the easiest way to add stuff to your stories from here is by tapping on the square button located on the lower left corner of this screen. In this section, you will be able to individually select your most recent files, so you can add them to your stories, including images and videos. In our case, we are going to select one of the most recent pictures taken from our account. Once you select a photo or video, you will be able to edit it by using the buttons available on the top right corner. With these buttons, you can add nice effects such as emojis, among other effects, and text. Once you are done editing your image or video, simply tap on, well, done. Now you can check your story by tapping on your profile icon in the stories bar. And here it is. This is how others will see your story on their feeds. But one thing that you will notice is that this story doesn't look dynamic because it has only one image. So let's add another image to our story to see how it looks in action. This time around, we are going to take a photo with a circle button by simply tapping on it. Once our photo is taken, we are going to add some elements to it to make it funnier, which will in turn increase our engagement. Once we edit it, we have to simply tap on the Add to Your Story button on the lower left. We'll be taken back to our feed from where we are going to be able to check our newest addition to our story by tapping on our profile icon in the Stories feed. Voila! Here's our story in action. It looks great, and that is exactly how it will look to our followers and to users visiting our profile. And as you can see, it perfectly fits our day's narrative, which is exactly its intended use. Okay, so far so good. But how do you market these awesome posts then? Because as amazing as Instagram's organic reach is, there should be always room for a little paid push for your marketing campaigns. So tune in to the following video so we can show you what Instagram ad Instagram advertising. Hey there everyone, ready for more awesome Instagram marketing material? Well, we surely hope that you're ready because we're about to educate you on one of Instagram's most fascinating features. Yes, just like we promised you in our previous video, we are going to talk about advertising on Instagram, which is nothing but the act of promoting your business by way of Instagram's own paid advertising program. But you already know that paid advertising platforms abound. So let's talk about what makes advertising on Instagram so special. And let's start by saying that advertising on Instagram is all about building your business on the platform. Driving awareness, growing your customer base, and sharing your story with one of the largest audiences on any current social network is a seamless experience because Instagram adverts appear in a bold, linear format that perfectly matches the visual nature of the platform, making them look natural. Instagram adverts are very diverse. Photo adverts, for instance, allow you to tell your story through a simple and beautiful digital canvas that adapts to users' device screen orientations. Video adverts 
Give adds an additional edge by adding sight, sound, and motion to the already immersive quality of photo adverts. Carousel adverts are designed to add an additional layer to the Instagram advert experience. Because they will allow you to insert several images or videos into a single advert so users can swipe across them. Lastly, story adverts will allow you to complement the content of any feed with awesome promoted stories, which are very engaging to begin with. Instagram adverts are designed to help you meet your business goals, no matter if you are trying to increase brand awareness or increase the number of people in your established customer base. Because by advertising on Instagram, you will be able to get the results that are most important to your business. In fact, business goals that you can achieve by advertising on the Instagram platform are wide and specific, and they cover the three main stages of the customer decision journey. Awareness. You can drive awareness of your brand, business location, or services by way of the following goals. Reach, frequency, brand awareness, and local awareness. Consideration. Make your potential customers aware of your specific offers is easier through these goals. Website clicks, video views, and reach and frequency. Conversion. Lastly, you will be able to increase your sales, app downloads, and frequent shopping visitors by converting leads into actual customers through the following goals. Website conversions, dynamic adverts, mobile app installs, and engagement. Awesome, but how can you actually get started? Well. Getting started with Instagram advertising is fairly quick and easy, as Instagram uses the same powerful advertising tools as Facebook. If you are familiar with Facebook advertising, you're already more than halfway through Instagram advertising then. But if you're new to advertising on both platforms, it goes like this. You start by having an Instagram business profile and a Facebook page for your business, which you already have, as we walked you through the process during the first two videos in this section. You'll then have to go to either the Adverts Manager or the Power Editor on Facebook to create and run your adverts, which we will show you how to do in the next video. You will then have to determine your advertising budget, which in turn also determines for how long will your adverts run, and how many people you will be able to reach with them as well. Lastly, you will simply have to publish your adverts once they are ready. And that's it! Okay, so how do you actually publish adverts on the Instagram platform? To publish adverts, you have to buy them by setting up a budget like we showed you previously, and there are four ways to acquire them. You can simply promote your Instagram post from the Instagram app. Any post can be promoted as long as it complies with Instagram's rules. By going to the Adverts Manager in Facebook, where you will be able to use the same powerful advert editing tools that you would use to create Facebook adverts. By going to the Power Editor on Facebook, which is an interface that will allow you to set up several ad campaigns at the same time and to have more control over them. This is an option mostly used by advanced marketers with very large budgets and by marketing agencies. By hiring an Instagram partner to take care of your ads for you. This is an option mostly used by people short on time or by people that would rather delegate this job to others. Creating adverts on Instagram goes beyond helping you to reach your business goals, as it will also help you to reach the people that matter the most to you. This is done through powerful audience targeting options that can help you reach people based on specific locations, such as countries, cities, and regions, to narrow down your audience based on demographic information, such as age, gender, and language, to reach people based on interests, such as the apps they use, the accounts they follow, and the adverts they usually click on. These targeting options will also help you to define an audience by its behavior. You can also customize your own audience by directly targeting them based on a database of emails or phone numbers. You can also set up lookalike audiences to find audiences that are potentially similar to yours. And you can also set up automated targeting that will allow Instagram to target an audience based on your business profile. So tune in to the following video so we can teach you how to set up the different types of adverts offered by Instagram. Types of Instagram Ads Hello there once again. Let's keep ourselves busy by jumping right in and showing you the types of adverts available for advertisers on Instagram and where you can go to create them. Okay, the first type of ad that you can create on Instagram, and in fact the easiest one to create, is photo ads. You can create a photo ad by taking a photo and promoting it, or by selecting a photo from your gallery and promoting it. One thing to note though, 
is that you will be able to set up a photo ad after you have created a photo post. So let's show an example by creating one from a photo post that we've already published. We will start by going to our profile so we can search for a photo post, then we can promote from there by tapping on the profile icon on the lower right. Once there, we're going to tap on the promote button. Now, when you tap on that button, you will be able to see what posts are actually eligible for promotions, as there are certain conditions that a post must comply with in order to be promoted. One of them being that images on the post are 1080 by 1080 in resolution. If your camera's device is not able to take pictures at that resolution or higher, you will need to snap your pictures from another device, save them to your device, and then upload them to your post through your gallery. Alrighty then. With that out of the way, let's continue by tapping on the arrow icon on the upper right. Now on this screen, you will have to select a promotion objective. You will have two options, to either get more profile or website visits, or reach people near an address. The Get More Profile or Website Visits objective will allow you to show your promoted post to the people that are more likely to click through your URLs. The Reach People Near an Address will allow you to show your promoted post to people in a location that you want to target. For example, in the case that you have a business that you would like to promote in a specific area. In our case, we are going to select the Get More Profile and Website Visits as our objective by tapping on it. Now you will have to set up your ad details. Let's start with the first options on top. We already selected our objective, so let's take a look at destination below. In destination, we are going to select the placement where we want to link people to. We can select to either send people to our destination website or to our business profile on Instagram. And we are going to select to send people to our website. Now by tapping on the action button, we will be able to select the call to action button. And it will depend on what type of action we want people to take. There are several actionable buttons including Learn More, Watch More, Shop Now, Book Now, Sign Up, and Contact Us. Because our objective is to send people to our website to generate more traffic there, we're going to select the Learn More button. Next, you will have to set up your target audience, your budget, and your campaign's duration. Let's start with audience. There are two types of audiences. Automatic audiences are target audiences that Instagram will set up according to your own profile with specific locations, gender, and age setups. The other are custom audiences, which you can set up by tapping on Create Your Own. You have to start by giving your custom audience a name, as this audience will be saved. Then you will have to select the location or locations to target. Then you'll have to tap on Interest to target people according to interests. In our case, we are going to target people who like healthcare and healthy eating. Then you'll simply need to finish up by selecting an age group and target genders. Once you are done here, simply tap on the confirmation button. Your new audience will be saved, and you'll simply have to select it from the saved audiences menu. Now you'll have to select the budget and duration. Here you can select Instagram's own fixed budgets and durations, or tap on set your own to set up your own daily budget and duration. We recommend you to set up a budget of $5 per day and to run your campaign for a good six days as that is the optimal way to learn if you will be getting back your budgetary investment. You can use the Preview tab to preview how your photo ad will look. Once you're ready to launch your ad, simply tap on the Create Promotion button. So far, so good, right? Let's continue with the other types of ads. But before we continue, we want you to know that the following type of Instagram ads can only be created through Facebook and only through the desktop version. Now. You can create these ads by either using the AdWords Manager or the Power Editor. And we are going to show you how to use the AdWords Manager to create them as that is the easiest, most direct way. For that, you'll simply have to start by logging into your Facebook business account, the one that you have linked to your Instagram business account. Once there, click on the Menu button and then on Create Ads to go to the Ads Manager. Then select your marketing objective. In our case, we are going to select Brand Awareness as our objective. After selecting your objective, you will need to create an ad account for your new campaign, in case you haven't done so before, which is as simple as selecting the account country, currency, and time zone. After you set this up, simply click on Continue to move on to the next step. Now you will have to set up your ad set. Start by naming your ad set in the Ad Set Name field. Now you have to set up your audience, your placements, and your budget. A recommendation here 
is to set your audience and budget the same way we showed you how when we showed you how to promote the Instagram post. So we'll continue by clicking on continue. Now you will have to create the actual ad. Start by naming your ad in the ad name field. You have two options when you decide to create an ad here. You can either create new ad from scratch or use existing post. When you click on use existing post, you will be able to select the Facebook page and a connected Instagram profile to where to promote your post. Now because this is an Instagram ad, you have to go to the select the page post menu. Check the only show posts that can be used with Instagram ads option. Now you'll be able to select which of your Facebook posts can be promoted on Instagram as well. And you can use the ad preview menu to select Instagram placements to see a preview of how your promoted post will look on there. Awesome! Let's now check the rest of Instagram ads by clicking on the create new ad tab. Start by selecting your Facebook and Instagram business accounts on the ad identity section. As you can see here, our ads are already selected by default. So let's move to the format section. In this section is where you will be able to select the other types of Instagram ads, which as you can see, are the same type of ads that you can set up on Facebook itself. From left to right, the first type of ads that you will be able to select are carousel ads. In this type of ad, you will be able to include two or more images or videos that users can scroll through, all in a single ad. Remember that images for Instagram ads have to be 1080 by 1080 in resolution or higher, otherwise they won't upload. Now single image ads are very much the same as photo ads or promote a post on Instagram. And single video ads are just like the single image ads, only with videos instead of images. Lastly, slideshow ads are similar to the Instagram stories in that they allow you to share up to 10 images on a single ad, and they will be shown as a moving slideshow. Those are the types of Instagram ads that you will be able to show it to your audience of choice, and the one that you choose will depend on your objective and how you wish to engage with your audience. Hello there again, dear friends, and welcome to Section 3 of our Instagram Marketing 3.0 video training series, Advanced Instagram Marketing Strategies. So far, we are glad about the progress that we are making in this endeavor. In the previous section, we showed you what Instagram marketing was actually like, step by step, the easy way. And in this section, we are going to teach you how to manage your Instagram insights, how to use Instagram as a microblogging platform for maximum reach how to shoot great Instagram videos, how to snap great Instagram photos, some advanced Instagram marketing advice from the experts, and how to use the direct feature for killer engagement, Instagram Insights. Now, let's start with Instagram Insights, which is Instagram's built-in analytics tool, which you can use to analyze your performance and the behavior of your followers. Accessing your Instagram Insights is as simple as tapping on the profile icon on the lower right side of the screen. Then going to the upper right corner on your device's screen and tapping on the graph-like icon. Welcome to your analytics section. Here are some where you will be able to see how well you are performing in your marketing efforts. Here you will be able to review in detail metrics such as number of followers, views, and others. Let's start checking out this section from top to bottom. As you can see here, right below your profile's icon, you will be able to see two metrics. The number of followers that you have and the current number of posts that you have published so far. Those two metrics are based on your activity from the last seven days, which is important because that will allow you to know how well you were engaging people in relation to the number of posts that you publish during the span of a week. All right, let's check the metrics feature below. The first metric featured is impressions, which is the total number of views that you have gotten across your entire Instagram channel, or in other words, the total number of views from your posts, your images, your videos, and your profile. By swiping to the left, you will be able to see your reach, or the number of unique views that you have gotten in the last seven days. Swiping to the left once more will show you your number of profile views, or the number of views that you have gotten on your profile in the last seven days. Let's now move to the follower section. In this section, you will get detailed demographic insights of your followers but you will need to get at least 100 followers before you are able to get this detailed demographic overview. Below is the post section, where you will be able to check how your posts are performing on an individual level, as they will be arranged from left to right, sorted by the individual number of impressions on each one. In the story section, 
you will get insights on the performance of your Instagram stories. Make sure to tap on Turn On to be able to get Stories Insights on this section. Note, though, that Stories are visible to other users for 24 hours only, which means that Stories Insights gather data from a 24-hour period only. Lastly, in the Promotion section, you'll be able to check your promoted post's performance. A recommendation is to come back on a daily basis to the Insights section to see how your Instagram marketing efforts go so you can make the appropriate adjustments to better optimize your campaigns. Instagram microblogging for maximum reach. Did you know that you could use Instagram posts as microblogs that can work as backlinks and as SEO boosters? That's right. And we're here to show you what strategies you need to apply in your post to use them as your own optimization boosting platform. Captions. Captions are the descriptions that you can add to your photos or videos right on the Write a Caption field. The first rule about microblogging captions is that they have to be descriptive, brief, and simple. Instagram allows you to post over 2,000 characters in your captions, but the trick here is to not go over the 250 word mark. In fact, keeping it under 150 and 140 words is the ideal target. The idea is to use this brief caption for keywords relevant to your industry. If you need to add a web address, make sure to shorten it using a web service such as Bitly. Hashtags. No Instagram caption would be complete without hashtags. Hashtags are labels that help social media users to find specific information relevant to a keyword or string of keywords. We are going to use hashtags as a marketing tool and as an advantage. You can add hashtags to your captions by typing a hash character or a numeral sign followed by the word, phrase, or string of keywords that you intend your leads to target. The maximum and minimum number of hashtags that you should include in your posts is 11. This is a powerful way to attract followers because users can find your products or promotions just by typing a particular keyword or by looking for a certain combination of keywords combined as a hashtag. For example, you can use the healthcare, eating healthy, and fresh hashtags in your caption to make your post to appear among results for people targeting those keywords. Our final recommendation when it comes to hashtags is to create them as strings of keywords, as opposed to single keywords, because single keywords can yield too many results. Tags. Tagging others on your posts is a great strategy that will help you to reach the followers of the people or businesses that you tag, all by simply tapping on tag people to look for someone to be featured on your post. This works because comments, likes, and other activities by accounts tagged on your post can be viewed by the people following them. Each time that you tag a user, he or she is notified, and this can thus make them feel more pleased, more identified, and more engaged with your brand letting others know how a great brand you are for engaging with them. Geotags. Adding a location to your post by tapping on Add Location and selecting a location on the map is a great way to reach people in very specific locations, as geotags will be shown on your post images and they will be shown to people in that location and to people near that location as Instagram recommendations if those users use the search feature to find content. Apply these microblogging strategies in your daily Instagram post and see how your performance as well as your reach increases in Shooting great marketing videos on Instagram. Shooting great marketing videos on Instagram is a challenge, mostly because Instagram's video recording and editing capabilities are pretty limited. Because once you record a video on Instagram, there's not much you can do on the platform to edit it into a top-notch marketing video. In any case, there is a series of tricks that you can apply on your Instagram videos to make them into engaging, entertaining short-form videos that you can later edit with the use of third-party apps. Transitions One of the most useful techniques to tell a brief story on video is to use transitions in between takes. Surprisingly, this can be achieved with the Instagram built-in recording feature. Simply start recording by taping and holding the record button and film until you want that take to end. Then move to the next take and repeat those steps. These simple steps are to be followed until you have your video put together. As you can see, this is the result of a video composed of transitions, and it can be set up by recording each scene separately.
Stop motion. Stop motion is a video technique that can be easily be recreated using Instagram and will only require you to record a tiny fraction of a second of video. Then move the people, objects, and the scene that you're recording to a different position. Record it, stop, repeat, record another one, and so on. Pretty much like you would record a transition, but at a slower pace. Check how we record one shot, then another one, then another, and so on until it is all recorded. An amusing shot by shot video can be easily used for engaging people because it can be funny. Time lapse and hyperlapse. Time lapse videos are those videos that show a long, single scene shortened by speeding up the video. This is an example of a time lapse video. Then we have hyperlapse videos, which are faster than time lapses and can cover much more information. You cannot create hyperlapses or time lapses within Instagram itself but you can download and install the time-lapse camera video recording app. After editing your video using this tool, you can upload it to Instagram and access it through your gallery. Tips for using your mobile device as a portable video recording studio. There are some instruments that you can use to make your tablet or smartphone a proper mobile video recording studio. For improving the sound recorder through your device's mic, you need to buy a calibrated recorder for tablets and smartphones. To properly handle your device while recording, you'll need a tripod with hand stabilizer. These techniques, when applied the right way, can transform your mobile device into one of the most powerful marketing tools available on a friendly Snapping great marketing pictures on Instagram. Let's get this right out of the way. Instagram's photo taking capabilities are basic at most. They're not designed for marketers or enterprises, but for common people eager to have fun with their contacts. That doesn't mean that you can't use it to snap awesome-looking pictures for your marketing campaigns, though, because the secret isn't how you apply Instagram's limited photo editing features to craft your ideal brand image. So let's get started. Start by tapping the plus icon button on the lower screen. You will be showing your camera, so look for the right angle, the right lighting, and then tap on the circle in the middle to snap a picture. Remember that you can always turn on or turn off your camera's flash before taking your pictures, and that you can tap on this icon to shift between your front-facing camera and your rear-facing camera. After taking your picture, you will be taken to the photo editing options, so you can customize it before posting. It is in this step where you are going to experiment with the editing features to find your ideal brand's image. So let's go step by step. First, you'll have the option to choose among the multiple filters available. And you can choose normal to leave it as it was originally taken. Now tap on edit. Let's look at each editing option from left to right, starting with the adjust option to change the picture's angle, bend it to the sides or up and down. The brightness option will allow you to adjust the brightness in your picture. The contrast option will let you manage your picture's contrast so you can show details that were not visible in the original picture. In structure, you can manage the picture's pixel density. Warmth will let you change the overall color spectrum of the picture, from a cold color to a warm color. In saturation, you can control how strong colors are perceived in the picture. In color, you can change the color on the shadows and highlights in the picture to one of the various colors provided by the tool. You can add a fading effect with fade and also turn the shadows and highlights values up and down. You can add a vignette effect to your picture as well as a circular or lateral blurred movement effect with tilt shift. The last option is to sharpen the edges of the lines and compositions in your picture. And this is how you can take your new picture from an ordinary photo to a unique template. Advanced Instagram Marketing Tips from the Experts Everybody wants to have an advantage when it comes to marketing. What with all the new marketers flooding the scene all the time? but very few are actually able to develop an effective strategy that leads them to the top. And boy, let us tell you that developing such a strategy is one painful process that requires lots of trial and error. That is why in this video we are going to give you our top 10 list of flawless, proven, and foolproof advanced Instagram marketing strategies. Snap photos using apps other than Instagram itself. While it is true that Instagram's own photo capturing feature is powerful enough to let you post a great-looking visual content in record time, it is also true that its set of functionalities can be pretty limiting. 
That is why we and other successful Instagram experts recommend you to develop your photos using third-party apps. Apps that will allow you to take pictures, edit them, and then save them to your gallery so you can later use them on Instagram. Most dedicated photo-taking apps will offer you simple-to-use yet powerful features like advanced camera controls, more varied filters and presets, simplified photo publishing interfaces, curated Instagram asset galleries, and other professional-grade content. Shoot videos using apps other than Instagram itself. Just like its photo editing feature, Instagram's built-in video recording capabilities are very limiting as well when it comes to marketing. That is why we recommend you to use a third-party app to film your videos as well, as you will be able to import them to Instagram from your device's gallery anyway. Dedicated video recording applications that will allow you to edit videos in real time and to produce effects like time lapses, transitions, and hyperlapses, which is simply not possible on Instagram alone. Also, you won't need to use a separate video editing software to do the magic. Use shortened URLs in your profile. Your bio URL is more likely clicked by users if it is shortened. A great way to optimize your profile's URL is by shortening it with a link shortening service. For that, we recommend you to use the Bitly service, which is free and works great. Go to the Bitly URL in your browser to shorten your website's URL. You can always go back to your site's Bitly page to track the number of visits that your site is getting through Instagram, basically using it as a backlink as well as a tracking pixel. Use an optional platform for organizing contests. Instagram and contests go together just like bread and butter. And we recommend you to use dedicated web-based platforms such as wishpond.com for organizing, scheduling, and running contests on your Instagram business account. Such web-based platforms specialize in sweepstakes, photo contests, and Instagram hashtag contests, among other types of contests, making it way easier for you to manage and run awesome traffic-building contests. Cross-promote other businesses. It is quite common to see companies cross-promoting their products or services. Cross-promotions occur when a group of companies promote each other's products and offers, and it works great when these companies are from similar industries. To give you an example, a health-oriented company can promote the products offered by a new supplier, marketing how good their products are and how beneficial they can be for its followers. The supplier can then promote the health company's content among its followers, which will in turn foster cross-promoting. Use Instagram search feature to research trending topics. Paying attention to recent events, days in the calendar, popular Instagram accounts, trending hashtags, and your imagination to promote your products, even if they're not related to the trending topics, is a great way to leverage traffic generated by high converting keywords. Get your followers' email addresses to expand your communication channels. Getting people's emails without being intrusive or having your intentions misinterpreted is easy when you give people something in exchange, such as free support material related to your offers. The best way to achieve this is by creating a landing page and post it on your Instagram feed, offering your followers an ebook or any other serialized material. They can then sign up to your mailing list and receive content that is different to what they would be fed on Instagram. Create your own shareable content. It is safe to say that creating viral content is not easy. And even when you create something with all the right ingredients to go viral, there's actually a slim chance of it actually spreading virally. Because remember, stuff goes viral by random chance most of the time. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't try. And Instagram is a great platform to try everything. From the stop motion animations and funny videos featuring your products can be easily shareable. Even if they don't go viral the first few times. The idea is for you to keep developing ideas with the potential of reaching people beyond your followers. Encourage competitiveness among your followers and other users. Encourage your followers to participate on creative activities that are not contests from time to time. If you are a fitness retailer, for example, you can encourage them to post pictures of themselves during a marathon. If you are a cook, encourage your followers to inspire you. This strategy is all about further creating a sense of community, about creating a sense of playfulness and competition between people in your audience. Your most creative and most energetic followers will be pleased by this, and in turn will drive traffic to your account if only to show off. Work with Instagram influencers. Instagram influencers are an established trend in the industry, with the most vocal of Instagram users creating a wide audience that considers them influencers. 
They can easily promote your products or services and help you to reach a bigger audience in record time. Think of Instagram influencers as social media celebrities that will sponsor your products. With an audience in the millions, this is perhaps the most effective way to make your business grow super fast if you can afford Using Instagram Direct for killer engagement. One of the surprising things that has been subjected to a well deserved amount of experimentation and implementation is the use of instant messaging apps on social media platforms. One would think that instant messaging apps do not represent an opportunity for marketers to reach out to new people. After all, they have been designed for personal communication, right? Well, that is exactly the reason why instant messaging apps work so well for marketing. That is why in this video, we are going to teach you how to use Instagram Direct, which is Instagram's built in private messaging app, to drive engagement like you didn't think was possible with a simple instant messaging service. Create a private thread for your most loyal followers. It's no secret that fans just love when their favorite social media personalities or brands make an actual human effort to interact with them. Most Instagram businesses do this by simply tagging or mentioning a follower once in a while. But you are going to do it differently through the Direct app. If you already know who your most loyal followers are, go ahead and create a private message thread where you will share exclusive stuff with them and encourage them to tell their contacts about it once in a while to drive them crazy for you. Direct message your competition's following. A very smart way to reverse engineer the last strategy is by sending private messages to your competitor's most loyal followers. Just make sure that your competition's following can be engaged with what you have to offer. Otherwise, doing so will look desperate and intrusive to most. Direct messaging someone that might be interested in your products or services is way better than simply following them because you will be fostering intent and action. Use Direct to offer exclusive content. One of the best ways to drive conversions is by adding exclusivity to your offers. And using Direct to promote exclusive offers will work as a great motivation for people to get exclusive deals that simply won't be offered through your feed. The best approach to this strategy is to announce to your followers that you will be creating a list of people to whom you will be sending exclusive deals, such as discounts and coupons, that you won't be able to post as regular posts, that you need those that are interested in joining your list to let you know with a direct message to your inbox. Because the offers that you will send them will not be available on other channels, it will be easier to drive sales because people would want to take advantage of these exclusive deals, especially if you make them time sensitive. Use direct to promote and run contests. You can use direct messages to promote and run contests as part of the previous strategy. Simply tell your followers that contest announced through direct won't be announced on your feed. Neither will the results. This creates a situation in which most followers will see as an opportunity that can be missed if they don't take action. And that will foster. Welcome to Section 4 of our Instagram Marketing 3.0 video training. Additional tips to consider. In this section, we'll talk about do's and don'ts, premium tools and services to consider shocking case studies, and frequently asked questions. Do's and don'ts. Do's. Use your profile to promote your product pages. The website field in your profile is a piece of overlooked Instagram real estate that you can use to get extra traffic to your product pages. So make sure to use it to promote your profitable sections of your site to people looking at your bio. Ask questions to engage your audience. One of the best ways to engage with your audience is by asking questions, as questions basically force people to weigh in with their opinions. Post on a consistent basis. Posting on a schedule will ensure that your audience comes back for more, on a timely basis, because they will know when you're most likely to post. Engage with other business profiles. Engaging with other brand profiles on Instagram through comments, likes, and by following hashtags will expose you to their own following giving you a chance to get more followers as well. Stylize your profile. Instagram is already full of profiles fighting for attention. So make sure to stylize your own brand's account look to stand out and get more eyes on your awesome content. Plan your Instagram posts. 
Plan your Instagram posts by carefully thinking of your copy, your images, and your hashtags to get the best results possible. Use industry-relevant hashtags. Make sure to use hashtags that are related to your content to match it with people looking at the keywords targeted on your hashtags. Analyze your account. Use your intuition as well as third-party analytic tools to keep track of your followers, your photos, likes, and comments. Promote user-generated content. Sharing something shared by your own followers is a surefire way to get your engagement rates through the roof. Don'ts. Don't use Instagram bots. You might be tempted to use an automatic responder or following bots, but in doing so, you risk being perceived as a spammer, not a brand. Don't post irrelevant content. While off-topic posts are not bad on occasion, avoid posting about stuff that is not centered around your brand or business, or you will end up losing your audience. Don't overpost. Keeping your audience engaged two or three times a day is okay by all standards, but posting any one of your passing thoughts is going to be annoying for most, so don't do it. Don't neglect your account. Going the other way and not posting regularly is just as bad as posting too much, as you risk your followers losing interest in your content. Don't overdo hashtags. Hashtags are necessary, but too many of them are not going to help you, so keep them on the down low, with 10 hashtags per post at most. Don't neglect quality. Instagram is all about the visuals, so make sure to post only the best quality images according to Instagram standards. Don't overpromote products. Your followers already know that you are a brand and that you are all about the profits, but nothing will turn them off more quickly than regular product center posts. Don't steal photos. Don't use someone else's images unless you plan to mention them, as that would make you an Instagram pirate. Arr. Don't leave your bio empty. Adding something besides your company name and address on your bio, such as a short bio, a relevant picture, and a relevant URL, is essential. Don't focus on numbers. Don't base your Instagram success by the number of followers that you have, but by how they engage with you. That is the best way. Premium Tools and Services to Consider Grum One of the most resounding complaints that you'll hear from Instagram marketers is that it doesn't allow them to schedule posts which means that there's no way to create a post to be posted later than now. Now, there are other Instagram post scheduling apps on the market, sure, but Grum is the only one that allows you to create and schedule posts right from your desktop. Inc. 361 Ask a marketer what they wish they had, and he or she will tell you a crystal ball. Knowing what followers like and what they don't is something that can take you lots of effort to unravel. Inc. 361 can help you to take off some of that load by allowing you to analyze competing accounts to see what their audience likes so you can apply some of their strategies on your own campaigns. In short, it is an app for actionable insight discovery. Crowdfire One of the most popular practices on Instagram is to find popular accounts that have a large number of followers that meet the criteria of your target audience. Follow them, then hope that doing so doesn't backfire. Crowdfire can help you to avoid all the guesswork by letting you see those that you follow but that are not following you back, then letting you to unfollow them with a simple click without you having to go to Instagram first. Iconosquare There's nothing more discouraging than mapping out a marketing plan that you see as perfect based on analytic data to later see it fail. Iconosquare is a dedicated analytics tool that will allow you to analyze data from all angles, such as what hashtags would work the best for you and what times of day are best for posting. A color story. Your images are more important to your Instagram marketing plan than you would think they actually are. And using an app such as a color story to enhance your marketing images will give your Instagram assets a look that is more professional and unique than what you would be able to achieve using Instagram filters. Snap Widget. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could easily share your Instagram posts on channels other than your integrated social accounts? Well. We've got good news here, because you can use Snap Widget to easily embed your Instagram feed directly to your website on autopilot. Repost. Creating an interconnected community is one of the best marketing strategies out there, and one of the best ways to do it is by sharing content posted by others on your own Instagram feed. The Repost app will allow you to do it the easy way, 
by letting you repost photos and videos from other business accounts while also giving them credit, which can help you to attract followers from other popular accounts. Word Swag Snapping nice photos on Instagram is not hard, but creating engaging marketing images is different. Word Swag will allow you to easily add graphic elements to your photos. With this app, you will be able to edit awesome marketing images in less than two minutes. Social Rank Knowing your audience is pretty tricky business. You can learn more about your audience by looking at what type of accounts they follow, how much they post, and so on. But learning about your audience gets much more difficult once it starts growing into the thousands. And even so, what you will learn about the members of your audience is superficial. Social Rank is a marketing tool that will give you insights not about your audience's behavior, but about its demographics, average number of members per gender, age, location, and others. 460. Selling stuff on Instagram has become commonplace, but is a bit of a clunky endeavor. 460 is an app that will allow you to directly redirect users to your product pages from your Instagram posts, making it easier for them to directly add items to a cart without having to look for your marketplace. Shocking Case Studies Burt's Bees Burt's Bees is an American producer of cosmetics and natural beauty products that targets both its domestic and the international markets. Objective Their objective was to increase product awareness as well as brand recall across the beauty community. Strategy They promoted posts targeted at females aged between 18 and 24 in the United States using a Delight Your Lips theme. Results they got a 15% lift in product awareness and a 16% lift in brand recall. Philadelphia Philadelphia is a brand of cream cheese that is highly popular worldwide. Objective Their objective was to reach out to young adults aged 25 to 40, specifically those more likely to throw casual get-together parties. Strategy They promoted posts showcasing many types of quick, party-friendly recipes that could be easily done with Philadelphia cheese. Results? They got an 8% increase in purchase intent and a whopping 41% lift in sales. Levi's Levi's is a classic American apparel retailer that specializes in vintage-style denim garments. Objective Their objective was to get the brand's Instagram presence recognizable at first glance. Strategy They used beautiful images of people aged 18 to 34 wearing their branded clothes sharing unique moments with awesome background landscapes, thus making their brand part of the scenery. Results? Their posts were seen by 7.4 million people in the U.S. alone, and it generated a 24% increase in brand awareness among Instagram users. Mercedes-Benz Mercedes-Benz is a well-known car manufacturer that specializes in luxury vehicles. Objective the company's objective was to increase awareness of its new line of SUVs both among its followers and other Instagram users. Strategy The company reached out to photographers on the platform to ask them about what they would pack for a trip in their new SUVs, and then they used the photographs produced and showcased them on posts as promotional material. Results? Their promoted post helped them to get a nice 54% increase in visits from Instagram to their website. Adidas Adidas is a worldwide famous shoe and athletic gear manufacturer. Objective? The company's objective was to increase brand awareness across Instagram social space. Strategy? They invited influencers as well as ordinary people to publish Adidas-inspired posts for a chance to participate in a professional photo shoot sponsored by the brand itself. Results? Adidas Neo, the Instagram account used by the company to promote the contest, gained 41,000 followers from that campaign alone. Frank Body Frank Body is an Australian producer of beauty and skincare products. Objective? Because the company was just getting started by the time of the campaign, their objective was to create brand and product awareness. Strategy? They got bloggers, influencers, and other Instagram personalities with established followings to post pictures using their line of coffee-based exfoliating products. Results? The pictures soon became viral, and the company's Instagram account got a whopping 350,000 followers as well as over 25,000 user-generated posts in the span of only 12 months. Bloom and Wild 
Bloom and Wild is a UK-based company that sends flowers by customer request to people's inboxes across the United Kingdom and Ireland. Objective? Their objective was to simply attract new customers and a wider audience to their new business. Strategy? They had very little following as well as a small budget, so they tested out several post formats until they discovered that using video posts to showcase their service worked best. Results? They got a 62% increase in bouquet orders as well as a spike of customers positively commenting about their services on their Instagram account. Bejeweled Bejeweled is a popular puzzle game for mobile platforms that, alongside the likes of Candy Crush, has topped the charts. Objective? The application's developers wanted to inspire as many people as possible to download and play the app. Strategy? They got some popular Instagram influencers to share images of themselves playing the game accompanied by the shiny place hashtag. Results? The app climbed to the top of the charts, from position 702 to 182 in a single month, thanks to the power of Instagram. Chanel Chanel is a French fashion house that specializes in high couture, luxury goods, and accessories. Objective The company's objective was to promote the launch of the newest number 5 perfume. Strategy They invited fashion bloggers and Instagram users to document some aspects of their daily life that involve Chanel products using the new Chanel 5 and the Chanel Grasse hashtags. Results? Chanel attracted over 900,000 new followers during the first month of the campaign and generated over 1,600 pieces of new content through their hashtags as well. Scotiabank Scotiabank is one of the largest banks in Canada. Objective? The bank's objective was to create awareness about its credit card program among Instagram users aged 18 to 22. Strategy They posted photos of neatly organized items accompanied by the Things Organized Neatly hashtag and invited young Instagram users to guess which movie those items symbolized. Results? The campaign gained a 20% increase in post recall and the bank gained a 6% increase in brand awareness. Frequently Asked Questions How can you gain more followers than what you already have? It depends on what you are actually using now to engage with your followers, but there is a three-item rule to gain followers on Instagram. Gain by photos, gain by content, or gain by video. If you are currently engaging with content, try with photos or videos, or maybe a combination of the three. Should you buy Instagram followers? If you value your time, your followers, and the type of engagement that you create, you shouldn't. If you have to buy followers because you are not generating engagement, it means that you should optimize your content and your strategy. Who should you follow if you're using Instagram as a brand? You should follow basically anyone who is interacting with your brand's account. There is enormous value in following ordinary followers as well as other brands to foster better engagement. What is the best equipment for an Instagram marketer? While lots of people find great success by using a high-resolution smartphone camera, serious Instagram marketing requires you to be prepared for any occasion. And the best equipment for any occasion includes a professional or mid-range camera, zoom lenses, and an action cam such as a GoPro. Will Instagram marketing work for you if you are from outside the U.S.? Absolutely! While English is the most prominently used language when it comes to marketing on any platform, You can have great success no matter where you're from when you follow our training to the letter. Does Instagram improve your SEO? It can, but consider that SEO is not the strongest point of social media, as search ranks do not improve with social shares, no matter how much you're being shared. SEO on Instagram works when you build relationships with the right people and get them to share your non-social content with their following. Should you advertise your Instagram content? Organic reach dropped by 52% in 2016 for publishers, and content creators are publishers by nature. So, you will benefit from some paid advertisement as long as you develop a clear advert strategy that will not deplete your marketing budget. Should you schedule your Instagram posts? Yes. Setting up a posting schedule will help you to post consistently and to craft better quality content. Scheduling will help you to avoid neglecting your account and to map out a distribution strategy. Should you use Instagram for business if you're in a serious industry? Many marketers make a mistake of thinking that social media is only for industries that target younger people. 
But the fact that companies such as banks and automation equipment manufacturers have been very successful on Instagram is evidence of the contrary. The secret is how you use your marketing strategy to reach out to your ideal audience. Should you manage your Instagram account by yourself, or should you use an Instagram-centered management tool? You are going to manage a business account, and that means that you're going to need as much assistance as possible. And management tools can help you to streamline your Instagram efforts by helping you to schedule posts in advance, measuring your performance through analytics, and working with a marketing team, among other things that are not possible to do efficiently on your own.